Welcome. This is Viaducts of Atlanta. And today I'm going to talk about a subject that I think is critical to mud flood research. I think that uh, this one's kind of gotten pushed under the rug somehow. Uh, I thought everybody knew about this and come to find out lately um, through some of my conversations that uh, it doesn't seem to be a known thing or a, a widely known thing. So I'm going to lay it out for you today uh, best I can as quickly as I can. Um, this ain't going to be a no major production. I'm just going to just lay it out for you real quick. Um, basically, this came about. Uh, I was uh, doing chats with uh, Martin from Flat Earth British and Campbell from Autodidactic and asked them both about viaducts and neither of them had ever heard of them and i was really surprised because i thought that that this was a very known thing and i'm i really am starting to realize that there's a lot of things in my research i've come across that i need to share because i i thought everybody knew all this stuff and i'm I, i'm finding out that a lot of people don't know some of the stuff I know. And it's hard for me to, to know what you don't know. So when I do run across stuff like this and stuff as important as this, I'm going to try to do my best to get something out to you, even if it's not the most, you know, best quality production. This is going to be just see the pants. No, uh, there's no script. Okay. <laughs> just me. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> All right. I'm going to give you the best I can. I'm going to explain what the viaducts are and uh i believe that this is uh key mud flood evidence this is proof positive of a cover-up of the mud flood so i hope you're ready because <laughs> this is gonna be some juicy 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 juice and cookies okay so basically um in I, through my research, I have uncovered three cities so far uh, that are viaduct cities. And what I mean by that is that the entire city, um, the downtown area, is viaducts. And the cities that I have found are Cleveland, Ohio, uh, Cincinnati, and uh, Atlanta, Georgia. And I believe there are other cities out there. Um, and I'd like to hear from you if you have viaducts in your city that are in the downtown area. Now, a viaduct, most of you are probably thinking of aqueducts, okay? Water carrying platforms, okay? structures that carry water like from in the roman times where they would carry the water from outside the city into the city and they were done on these structures called aqueducts i'm not talking about aqueducts okay viaducts come from the word aqueduct okay but a viaduct is basically when it comes down to nuts and bolts long story short is a raised platform a bridge like when you go uh on the on the the belt line the interstate and you see the bridges that are going up in the air okay and they're looping around and things that that's a technically a viaduct okay it's a raised platform okay what i'm telling you is that these three cities and probably more the entire city is raised via viaducts. So what you think is ground level, <laughs> it ain't ground level. <laughs> it's a viaduct. The whole city. And I'm going to prove it. Right now. Okay. So I'm going to talk about Atlanta, Georgia exclusively for this video because I have done more research on Atlanta 
and I have more data for it. Um, so I felt it would be more interesting. Um, but we're going to look at the Atlantic, Atlanta, Georgia, United States viaduct system that was installed, built, constructed in the 1920s. So uh, here we go. We're going to look at uh, what I got and uh, I hope you enjoy. It's going to be good. So this is a drawing of uh, Atlanta, Georgia today. Um, it's a pretty big city. If you've never been to Atlanta, uh, I imagine a lot of you have not. Um, I have spent uh, quite a bit of time in Atlanta in my life. Um, and so I, I understand the layout and, and uh, how big a city it is. It, it, it is, you know, it's no New York, but it's a pretty big damn city. <laughs> um, a lot of traffic. Um, it is a, a railroad city. Um, it was a very big junction in uh, railroad history. Um, a lot of the railroads came in to Atlanta. And uh, so they were, it was a very big railroad city. But anyways, uh, moving forward, uh, this is an old pick. Uh, back uh, around 1900, I'd say. And this gives you kind of an idea of a little bit of what they had going on at that time. This is from a postcard. Um, you can see some Antiquitech here on the roof. You got you some onion domes there. Um, but this is a uh, very typical uh, for America. Um, most of the cities do have this, you know, you know there's Antiquitech there and Antiquitech up here. Um, but the most of them did look like this. Very uh, simple. Uh, very, it's a southern city. Um, you know, it, it, at this time, it wasn't a, a huge metropolis um, like New York or anything, but um, it, it was a big bustling city um, and everything was trains coming in, trains going out. So anyways, this is a picture um, in 1929. So this is taken very shortly after the viaducts were installed. And if you'll get down in here and look right here, this right here is a viaduct. Okay. Now backing up, there's another one right here. And another one right here. And there's another one over here. So every street is a viaduct. Not only going that way, but going the other way okay in between these buildings which you can't see right now in this picture and i don't know if this area right now um it, this could be figured out with some easy research especially you know being a seeing this building right here um you could probably figure it out pretty easy but i i imagine it's possible that these this area here is covered up right now but um, I'm not sure. But anyways, what I'm pointing out here is this is a viaduct. And what they do is they raise the street level to a new level. In Atlanta, they raised it one level. And a level back then was, you know, not what it is today. A level back then was very tall. And you can see the arched windows down here. Now, all this is covered up now. Everything from this line here, follow this line here, all this is covered up all of that is covered up now see the same thing here and you see the new street level is here and that looks just like a street now that street is there today okay but see when people drive into the city they come in and they enter outside the city onto the viaduct and it raises them up very gradually and they never even notice that they've gone onto a bridge onto a viaduct and this viaduct then goes throughout the whole city. And when it gets out the other side, it goes down again. So if you Google Earth these things, you can follow these roads and see where they go up and where they go down. Okay. And this is how they hid it. Okay. This is how they hid the mud flood 
in Atlanta, Georgia. And through this video, I'm going to prove it. I've got the evidence here. See arched windows. All this is covered up now. They hid all this. Okay. All right. I'm going to move forward. This aerial view of Atlanta. Uh, Atlanta reconnected by, by, by the viaducts. The first and second floors would become forgotten about until the 1970s entertainment complex was built. And what they're talking about is a place in the middle of Atlanta called the Atlanta Underground. And what they did was they took a very small section, and I will show you this later, of downtown Atlanta underneath the viaducts and turned it into a shopping and entertainment venue with restaurants and there's about 50 shops down there and they did that to to show the people what was there and basically create the myth that there's this um, that the Atlanta underground is this spot but that is the myth the truth is that the whole damn city is underground, okay? And I'm going to show you that, okay? So this is uh, just an old, like, postcardish kind of thing from back then. Um, I don't know if you can see, that that's the capital right there. I don't think you could see some of the viaducts coming in right here. Yes, that, that is viaduct right there. See how it's raised? Now today all this is filled in. Okay, it's all filled in. You can't tell. It's a. It, it all looks like roads. So that's all viaducts. We we think of it as bridges, but it's not. It's not a bridge. It's a viaduct. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you a lot more here. Okay, this uh, airplane view showing New Spring Street viaduct, Atlanta, Georgia. Airplane view of new blah 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 connecting north and south side of the city through thoroughfare to business district and railroad station and Atlanta's most beautiful residential section. Trying to connect the south of the railroads to the north with a very long viaduct. Later, the Omni George uh, Georgia World Congress Center and Phillips Arena would be built alongside the viaduct, reducing its perceived length. So what they're talking about is this viaduct here. Okay, and they this is this this comes in from outside the city and it raises up once it gets in the city. And once you're in there, you think you're on ground level, but you're not. You're on a viaduct. And then today, all this area here is filled in with big buildings. And if I'm not mistaken, what is called the gulch is in this area. And the gulch is a, a humongous like it's about a four-story uh, area of underground in Atlanta, Georgia. Four stories. Possibly five, depending on your math. And next picture. Uh, this is just a map of downtown Atlanta. And the next picture is a picture that I'm... It's a map I'm working on in my research... And I've not completed it, but I have determined that everything in red is a viaduct. There's the Atlanta Underground right there. So everything in red I have confirmed through my research is a viaduct. And there's more. Okay. That's a lot of viaduct. Okay. So what I'm saying is that they, these points right here, these circles... These indicate where the viaduct starts. It goes up here. Okay, you go up, you're, you're on ground level here, and then it goes up, and you're on the viaduct. So you'll be on the viaduct about here, and then you think you're on ground level, but you're not. You're on a viaduct. Same here. See, it starts over here, just off the other side of 7585. Okay, so you come in, and you what it makes it look like is that you're you're going above the interstate they tr they make it they trick your eye and they make you think you you got to get above the interstate well they're not trying to get you just above the interstate which they are 
they're trying to get you up onto the viaduct so you don't realize that they have raised the ground level. And these these are entrances right here. These are all these circles here are where I have determined that the viaduct starts. Okay. And I think the gulch might be listed on here. I'm not sure. I don't see it. Anyways, you might spot it. There is a, I think it's down in, I think it's down in here somewhere. Anyways, it's a very, pretty famous part of Atlanta history. Anyways, uh, moving forward. Okay, this is a uh, 1905 shot. Um, this is, which is interesting because they say, the official, official history says that the viaducts were built in the 1920s. And this shot is from 1905. And lo and behold, that's a viaduct. Okay? That's viaduct. Right there. Okay? This is them building it. Okay? That will actually, excuse me, let me back up. They're not building the viaduct here. This is already built. Right here, they were, they were, work, they were working on putting in a new building right here. But you could see mud flood windows right here. I mean, look at the, the distance there. They say that they, in the stories, that they raised it one floor. But see, back then, I mean, that's, <laughs> that is more than one floor. That, that's, I mean, you, I think in our math, that would be two floors. But here's, here's another thing. This isn't even the first floor, people. Okay. The mud flood is below this. This is the, the old, this is the, this right here, this level here, is the ground level after the mud flood. So the mud flood windows and doors are below this ground level. These guys are not standing, they're standing on the mud flood ground level. Okay. Okay, this, this is all raised here. So, so not only, it, it's like you got the mud flood down here, and then they raised it to hide the mud flood, okay? Inst instead of, of, of digging out the, the, the dirt, which they did in a lot of cities, or sluicing it like they did in L.A. and Seattle, they raised the entire downtown. They did the same thing in Chicago. That's another city I believe is, is Viaducts, and possibly New York. But they're on my list of, of research to do. Let's Manticua Tech up here. Look at that sucker. That's the capital right there. Let me see if you can see. But see, you, you know, you look at this and, and everything in you know, that right there looks like, wow, that's a, you know, crazy mud flow building, blah, blah, blah. But what you're not realizing is that is about the, this right here, what they're calling the first floor is actually not the first floor. It's it's not the second floor. It, it's it's not even third. It's it's probably the fourth floor or more. Okay, because see, look right here. You got one, two floors, and then there's a floor below this, which I'm going to show you later. They they they. This is this is way covered up, man. This this is deep cover. They're, they're, they're really covering the mud here. Got these Antiquitech ten antennas up here. I mean, why, he, he, where are all the damn flags? They're always saying, oh, those are flagpoles. That's not a flagpole. That ain't a flagpole, y'all. Okay? Y'all know this. I don't know why I'm telling you this. I'm going to move forward to show you something else. Okay, uh, this is uh, aerial view of five points. This is near the uh, Atlanta Underground site. Uh, this is the construction of the Fourth National Bank in Atlanta in 1904. So there, this I guess this is the dig out for the uh, basement level of the the bank that they're building. But see that the viaduct is already here in 1904. Okay. This this is viaduct. That's not ground level. That, that's not ground. Okay. <laughs> this isn't the ground. 
this isn't dirt. This, this okay. This is dirt because they haven't paved the street, but that's not ground level. Ground level's down here. That's ground level. Okay. All right. These ant antiquitech antennas. Oh my goodness, they put a flag on that one. They knew we were talking shit. <laughs> All right. I need a flagpole. These things are interesting. Some sort of telecom business here. Supposedly. I really am not positive. Let's see if I see any pavement lights down there. Could be some there. Anyways, moving forward. Uh, this is uh, uh, Atlanta Viaducts. Uh, da, da, da. Central Ave. S. Tr S. Trom wall. I don't know what that means. Okay, this is while they're building the viaducts. I don't know a lot. To, it, it's it's confusing. Uh, this picture is confusing to me. I don't exactly know what to how to describe what I'm seeing here. It's it's very very odd. <laughs> But this is the, the construction of the viaducts. This is another construction. Uh, Atlanta viaducts. Maybe 19, yeah, 1928. Hunter Street and Trom White Hall. White Hall's a street. And here they're digging out The, something here I maybe I'm not sure what they're doing here Th this is I think yeah this is pre th this is when they're working on 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 the, the the ground level this is the the mud flood level okay when the mud flood came in see the mud flood windows here okay they're gonna raise the level up here okay it's going to be up here. If you look down this way, see how it's going downhill? The, the, the new ground level, I, I'm just guessing, would be right here on this level here above these windows. If you look down the, the line of sight there, how it would probably level out the best. Um, but that's what they're doing. They're, they're working on it, getting ready for bringing in the, uh, the steel to uh, build the viaducts. Ooh, let's look at that church real quick. Ooh. That's a pretty one. Okay. Hmm. Okay, this is another construction photo. And this one's very telling. Maybe not the best photo in the world, but what's in there is very interesting. These are the columns that are going to hold up the viaduct right here. These are being installed. This is what's under the current street level of Atlanta so you can picture that right here on top of this level right here is the new street level that means that all of this here is underground now okay this is all gone to the underground every bit of it this whole level down here okay this is this is how they hit it y'all okay they just covered over it. That means what I'm telling you is there is a complete underground city under Atlanta, Georgia. And now they do have, they ran the trains under some of it. They ran the subway under some of it. Um, and they use some of it for maintenance and parking. But there is a, an entire city. These storefronts, windows and doors are still there. Okay, they won't tell you that, but they're still there. Here's another construction photo. Okay, this, uh, I don't have a date on this one. Um, I think, if I remember correctly, this is a very early photo um, when they were in the process of starting. And I believe that this whole area here is now 
covered over in viaducts if I'm not sure but this is a viaduct right here and so is this right here okay and all of this is underground now that's a uh, the Peachtree Arcade that was a, a famous arcade in that time and I believe it's gone now because I believe the viaduct covered it over and killed the business but see this right here all of this is now underground big old arch windows okay that's a viaduct okay it looks just like a bridge but it's called a viaduct okay it's a raised platform okay these are the train tracks coming into the city okay Here's another uh, viaduct picture with the, the sides open. They haven't filled it in. Later, they would fill in the side streets. They originally did the main streets to help with the, the traffic. And then, well, that was, you know, one of the excuses. But um, it, you could see here the, the big, you know, underground area there. Um, can't see over this way because there's a sign in the way. But see this gives you an idea this is what it looks like today it looks like regular you know city street nothing to see here move along but really there's a whole city underneath the streets matter of fact the best shit is under the ground i mean go back to that picture you know look look what they covered up there that's what they covered up i got more of that i'll show you more Okay, this is a construction fee. Uh, this is Spring Street Viaduct Construction. Uh, possibly 1920, I believe. Um, but you, you, you look at that thing and it, it looks just like a bridge, but it's called a viaduct. It's a raised platform. Now, you can see here, right, right there, they're covering up the lower level all this is getting covered up see all that down there that's getting covered up all this down here is getting covered up okay if you go back and look today this gives you a little idea where you're at the Healy building and the uh, Chandler building maybe can't read that real good I don't see any other things okay moving on uh, here's a construction photo now this is a bad photo but it is a great view of how the viaduct goes together look at all they cover up look at that that is incredible see the structure of the viaduct right there it's just a raised platform but to you, to me, it looks like a city street. This is the best picture of this I could find. The, 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 the pictures are few and far between. They, they, they don't want you to see this stuff. I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to give you juicy cookies up in here. Okay, moving on. Uh, here's a postcard. Um, this is Whitehall Street Viaduct in Atlanta, Georgia. So this is a viaduct right here. Okay, so this is a postcard they put put out that said, "Hey, come to Atlanta. Come see our beautiful city. It's wonderful. But we're only going to show you, you know, the third and, you know, second and third floors, you know, because we don't want to show you our first floors because they're too good. We'll save the best stuff for, you know, nobody because nobody's going to know it's there because we're going to give you this. <laughs> but that is a viaduct. Everybody's walking around like everything's, you know, easy peasy." Everything's good to go. Okay, here's a um, one of those uh, uh, city map uh, uh, bird's eye view maps, and you can see a, a viaduct right here. Okay, in the in it in the in there. And what's interesting about this is if you look here, how it um, it, it goes across and it's right to the level okay everything looks level here but here's how you get to it okay 
where's you know where's the level what's level you know all right here's a train coming out of uh, town miles of railroad track run beneath the viaducts of the business sec business section so this is a, tr a train coming out from the viaducts in downtown Atlanta this is just a, a nice picture of downtown Atlanta um, this is all viaduct okay big ass city street everything looks normal everything looks just regular what I'm telling you is this is not ground level this isn't even mud flood level people mud flood levels deeper than this you got to go you got to go down to the underground in Atlanta and then you got to go below that to find the mud flood <laughs> it's it's double covered I mean they covered their ass in Atlanta Georgia okay this is a uh, Peachtree Street from Whitehall Street Viaduct so down here is mud flood level and this is pre put in the site the cross viaduct so there's this is the viaduct here okay and you can see that this is the area where the ground and one thing i read about is that um when they're putting in these viaducts they had to have all these stairs going down to the old level um to get people down to the the old level and up and down it's just a real pain in the ass people were real happy when they got this finished here's a pick from probably the what the 30s or 40s uh it's hard to tell me 30s um this is the viaduct okay to us it looks like a bridge it's not a bridge that is not a bridge that is a viaduct okay you see the old level right here all this is covered up now none of this is here now you can't see any of this this is city street now this area right here this is city street okay they covered all this up these are they they did them one way and then they came back and covered all this they couldn't do it all at one time they had to cover it up a little bit at a time got prism transoms over here over here anyways moving on this is a viaduct atlanta georgia looks like a bridge to us that's not a bridge it's a viaduct okay see how level it is see once you're up here you think you're on ground level you're not on ground level it's a viaduct see moving forward okay here's some good worth images i found uh just showing some of the viaduct um today that you can see on google earth if you if you know where to look look down you can catch glimpses of it see this is what we consider ground level today but it's not it's a viaduct okay this is a uh this one didn't come in real clear but you'll get the idea Here's a viaduct starting, okay, and it goes up here onto the ramp and it gets up to the ground level. What we call ground level today up here, the viaducts down here. And uh, then uh, you get there from here and, and start onto the viaduct. This is a viaduct here, okay. You can see the, the, the what looks like a bridge, okay, it's a viaduct, okay. And you can see the... Uh, level that they covered here all this is covered okay when they when they get done with the viaduct this whole now this is a modern you know this is modern times but the, to give you an idea of, of how much they covered but see what i'm telling you is that's not even mud flood this is mud flood level here mud flood the ground, original ground level before the mud flood goes another story down at least at least <laughs> okay um Here's another entrance onto a, a viaduct. Uh, you, you start here. When you go this way, you get up onto the viaduct. Okay, it's going up. Okay, and you just think you're going up a little bit. You don't even pay it no mind. But see, this is uh, this might be that same building we were looking at just a second ago. But the point is that, see, 
what all they're cutting off there. So you can see it all cut off there. There's another viaduct right there. See all the stuff underneath it? It's because they're raising you up. Uh, this is just a little area of, let me see if I can, oh, no, oh, no, oh, wait a minute, let me find, okay, this, I should have put this picture first. This is an overhead shot of this area. This level here is, is on the level with the viaduct, okay? It's just a little something I found, and I'm going to go back, and then this is to the side of it, looking inside, and there's a little... <laughs> little door here no, no, not a little door but I mean there's a, a double door here going to something underneath the road <laughs> so this is viaduct level here this is mud flood level here and there's a door so there's underground right here this is the hospital by the way I believe okay here's another view uh, looking down um, off the viaduct you up on the viaduct here this is a, a down a, a, a viaduct going down okay okay this is a thing this is a car getting you know access to the the underground area okay uh this is a viaduct okay okay you see how much they've covered over this level okay this is mud flood level here viaduct level this is all covered up today now this is just the beginnings of the the viaduct so so i'm not saying that this area this is today. This this area is not covered up, obviously. I mean, you can see it. But when you get past here, it's covered up because everything's viaduct. Okay, this is the outskirts. This is how I learned, how I figured it out. This I found this in Cleveland first, and and I, I saw this phenomenon, and I started looking closer at it, and and uh, and realized what they were doing. Okay, we've already looked at this picture. Uh, this is uh, just one of the plaques they put up around town talking about the viaduct. Um, if you're interested, it doesn't really tell a whole lot. They don't really want you to know. This is the area that is, uh, I believe, from best I can tell, the, the, the deepest area of the uh, viaduct. The level of the viaduct is up here. This is viaduct. Okay, this is the the underneath all this is under the viaduct. Okay. Now, how many stories is that? I think I read that it was four stories, but if you count this, there's one level here, two, three, four, five. You know, I don't know how many stories that is, but you could say that's at least four stories below ground. So this is a four-story area below ground in Atlanta, Georgia, under the viaduct. Okay, this is the top of, um, this is come down Peachtree Street, which is the main drag in uh, Georgia, in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, and this is the uh, entrance area to the, under, uh, the Atlanta Underground. So this is what you would see up top today walking around. It looks like your standard city. What I'm telling you is everything you see here is a raised platform. Okay. All this is raised platform. This is not ground level. This is all a platform. Every bit of it. Okay. This is an overhead shot of what we were just looking at. Okay. All, the, all that you see here. All the, every street here, every single street is a raised platform viaduct. Every street. The Atlanta Underground is right here. Okay? This is what they call the underground. What I'm telling you is all oh, this is underground, baby. Every bit of it. They only give you a little tiny little nibble. And, and people think that's just so great and wonderful. And they've had so many problems with that thing. So here's an area where you can see down below the viaduct. See, there's the viaduct right there. You can see down below right there. Okay, what else we got? Okay, this is the Atlanta Underground. And um, you can see they've spruced up the uh, viaduct with concrete to make it look pretty. 
Okay. And, you know, it's got supposedly original, you know, ground and brickwork and blah, blah, blah. But this is all, this is mud flood level here. Okay. And I'm going to show you why this is mud flood level here soon. Um, there's just a bunch of horse shit in here, you know, come and buy shit, uh, shops and restaurants. I spent New Year's Eve in here, uh, one night, um, in the nineties. It was a lot of fun. Had a blast. Drank my ass off. Party till it was whatever year. Here's another shot of. Um, this is like you kind of see the the scale of it, and here you're starting to see these are original shop fronts, and these there's these old lights. I don't know if this is one, but they're the old street lights are still down here. Here, here's one. Uh, here's some of the original facading that was down there that was covered up. Okay, there's some more right there. Some old pillars that were there. There's still remnants of this stuff that was originally down there. Uh, this is just kind of showing you how horse shitty it is down there. Okay, here's some of the original pillars that were on the outside. Okay, now uh, the this area here, this Coca-Cola sign, if I remember correctly, the first Coca-Cola was sold here. Uh, not necessarily in the underground, um, but I think at this location. Um, but you'll have to look into history of that if you want. Now, this is some really good evidence here. This is the Atlanta Underground now. These are the original street lights, the gas lamps that were there at the time. But what's interesting is, you know, this is original brickwork that was on the side of the buildings. But if you notice here, that's a mud flood window and door. Okay. Right there. That goes in, that goes down. This is mud flood level, people. The original floor is below this. So not only this ain't just the underground, the under, real underground's underneath this. Here's another uh, a shot. Um, this is this is original to what what was down there when they they covered it up. But this is not even the first floor. This is this is mud flood level now. That this the real first level is is below this, and right here you've got a mud flood hole going down, you know, to to windows and doors. Here's a, a club that is down. In the lower area, in the mud flood, in in the original level, so this right here, these people are walking on mud flood level. Okay, this is the Atlanta Underground viaducts up here. This is mud flood level. This is the original street level right here. Okay, see that stairs going down. This is a reverse image. This is where they're heading to right here. Okay. All right. This is a map uh, showing the downtown area. This right here is the area you were just looking at. But what I'm telling you is all of this is just like this. Every bit of it. It's all still there too. This, uh, this, uh, the storefronts of underground Atlanta before they became underground after the construction of a series of viaducts. So this is a store that was covered over when the viaducts were built. This is the kind of stuff that was there. What I'm telling you is this is not even the original level. If you see this right here, grading right here, this stuff, that's all evidence of, of going deeper. So this isn't even the first floor. There's a level below this. I bet they, they brought all this stuff up from underneath there. But this is the kind of beautiful architecture they're covering up. This is what's below Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, this is the entrance to the underground Atlanta. And you'll see uh, the come up here. There will be, there's the viaducts there. Um, that's street level today. And the underground area is open there in that portion. And this is a manhole cover 
to uh, the underground, which I thought was pretty cool. Pretty neat stuff. This is the MARTA, the subway system. This is entering the underground. Have you been here before? I have. I have been once. Once? And I had an awesome time. I've only been here once myself. Because, because there's so much stuff here. Do you know that they have over 50 shops that sell here? Okay. It's a lot. It's like this times five. There's so much history. That came out of like around this place. So they have like all the model cars down here. Unless they have a lot more down here than they had last time. But they've got like arcade. Let's see all these cars. It's super cool. It's called Underground Atlanta just because there used to be like the railroads and everything coming from here. But they had to build, like there was so much traffic that they had to build viaducts like above the street for more rail lines to pass through and all these shops were just closed down because all the stores had to move up. So it actually turned into underground. And then it was closed for a super long time. And they finally reopened it. Hmm. Facts! Welcome to Underground Atlanta! That's what I was saying up here that this, this, the viaducts that created the street, this street right here, this was like a historic street. They made all this about you. They made all of this. And everybody had to move. Which is that? I was about to say that. Sign, you stole my thunder. And this is evidence of the actual ground level bef before mud flood. So you're standing on mud flood level here, which is under the viaduct, and that right there is a window and door below ground on the original ground level of Atlanta, Georgia. So she was just at the original ground level. You can still see it today in a few places in underground Atlanta. This here is a, a trip through uh, on the train through underground Atlanta um, under the viaducts. And you can see he's all these little things right here he's passing under all the viaducts. I just thought this was something kind of cool to kind of see some of the workings underneath. Now this isn't the, the cool stuff that the mud flooders are interested in but it gives you an idea of what's going on under there. There's a whole world underneath Atlanta. So that's pretty, pretty interesting. Okay, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to attempt to draw this uh, as a picture, um, as a, just another way to show you. And uh, keep in mind, I don't have uh, very good drawing capabilities on uh, this computer. So I'm making the best images I can with what I got. Anyways, this right here is what Atlanta would have looked like pre-mud flood. Okay? You know, level ground. This is back, you know, old world era. Okay? And then the mud flood came in. And changed the level at an angle where the mud came in and flowed and overtook the city and you know covered up the windows and doors on the lower level sorry about the terrible drawing but trying to give you a good idea then the myth that they give us is that Atlanta was built in between hills and in order to compensate later for the roads and the trains and all the you know, traffic that was coming through the city in order to fix the congestion, they built the viaduct system. So here comes the viaduct up over the hill. They get up to the top of the level of the hill. Now this is not a scale, it's just to give you an idea. 
and then they built the level street level all the way across via the viaducts and then back down over the other side of the hill this is the myth and then they say down in 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 underneath is you know the the area of that is the city the old city this is the myth people this is what they tell you they did this is actually what they did do okay this black line represents the original level pre-mud flood then the mud flood came in and covered over the lower levels of the buildings okay then they came in and they built the viaducts flat across okay and here's the viaduct going up the viaduct going down outside the city okay and they underneath you have the mud flood level this is the mud flood level here and you have the windows and below windows and doors below ground and then this is the original ground level this is the truth of atlanta what we got here is uh data uh this is uh the official uh wikipedia indoctrination play page uh this is the viaducts of atlanta um viaducts of atlanta were mainly created in the 1920s to bridge numerous level crossings of roads and railroads atlanta was founded as a railroad city it had at least six major rail lines entering the city there were many places where pedestrian traffic encountered uh, that on rails uh, the first viaduct was just the broad street bridge which was rebuilt several times the second wood wooden version designed by lamel grant in 1865 but longer viaducts were coming these are some of the viaducts mitchell street peach tree street washington street spring street prior street uh, central avenue hunter street alabama street wall street there are, are more okay uh, the, the bellwood viaduct okay so there's some uh wiki junk downtown viaducts mitchell street peach tree washington let's see oh it's got cost tell some cost to how prior street central Avenue. gives you some uh information here if you want care to read that um 40 years before the atlanta underground became world famous uh long time yancey brothers customer Mac, uh, mcdougald a construction company built the viaducts that would create the future tourist attraction they're talking about the atlanta underground here by the 1920s downtown traffic was choking as cars lined up to cross peach tree street viaduct atlanta voters knew they needed more viaducts across the wide rail yard and they passed a one million dollar bond referendum to pay for them Fulton County Georgia Power Company and the railroads more than doubled that amount so that the viaducts and laterals laterals are the connectors between the streets so laterals substitute viaducts um it's the same damn thing they just call it a different because it goes a different direction could be built for prior street central avenue hunter street alabama street wall street and the elevated sidewalk between whitehall street and prior street bridge the entire project if laid end to end would have been almost a mile long the bridge work required significant excavation through the downtown area in one area according to atlanta historian frank garrett workmen hit an old cistern that had been part of the city's water system when completed in 1929 the viaducts allowed cars and pedestrians to move unimpeded and trains to move through downtown without worrying about all worried about encounters with automobiles storefronts in the five block downtown area moved up one floor five block downtown area i think it's more anyways moved up one floor into remodeled spaces along upper alabama street and the former retail spaces on the first floor were neglected 
or used as storage until they were rediscovered and reopened in the 1969's Atlanta Underground. <laughs> okay, uh, this is talking about the Gulch in Atlanta. This is a picture of the Gulch area. Oh yeah, okay, so I was showing you a picture earlier. Um, that whole big area is called the Gulch. This is just a, there's a, just a weird, this is where one of the depots was at one time, if I remember correctly. The Gulch is the downtown area in Atlanta, Georgia, was built, unbuilt, but envisioned as the site of major development. The Gulch area is at ground level, while the streets that surround it are elevated. That's viaducts. They were originally elevated in the early 20th century so that traffic could more easily flow above the railroad lines passing through downtown Atlanta. Okay, if you want to know more about that, I don't think there's anything else there I want to read. Okay, what we got here, Atlanta Underground. Okay, got a little picture there, you already seen that. There's a gas light. Ah, blah, 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 same stuff we've already seen. Okay, let's just see what, okay, I've got marked here to read. Okay. Uh, the buildings comprising uh, underground Atlanta were constructed during the city's most uh, post-Civil War Reconstruction era boom. Between 1866 and 1871, when the city's population doubled from 11,000 to 22,000 residents. In 1869, the Georgia Railroad Freight Depot was constructed to replace the one destroyed by Sherman's troops in 1864. The depot, which stands at the entrance of the underground Atlanta, remains the oldest building in downtown Atlanta. However, the depot was originally three stories tall, but the second and third stories were destroyed by fire. Besides the train station, the bustling district included hotels, banks, law offices, and saloons. An electric streetcar was installed in 1889, two points south, and by 1900, depot was serving 100 trains per day in direct service between Atlanta and New York uh, City, uh, Cincinnati, Ohio, Chattanooga, Tennessee, Knoxville, uh, Tennessee, Augusta, Georgia, Macon, Georgia, and Columbus, Georgia. By 1910, several iron bridges had been built to cross the railroad tracks at Union Street. At the suggestion of Atlanta architect Harrelson Beckley, Bleckley, okay, bridges were rebuilt in concrete and connected by linear uh, mail between them. Eventually, Beckley envisioned public plazas between the bridges, but only one, Plaza Park, later Peachtree Fountains Plaza, was ever built. As construction took, uh, yes, as construction took place in the 1920s, merchants began mo to move their operation to the second floor of their buildings and turned the original ground ground floor storefronts into basements. <laughs> <laughs> for service, for storage and service. Okay, they turned the first floor, they moved to the second floor, turned the first floor into basements. Well, what about the basements of the original buildings? Uh, of the, so, so now there's a sub basement. <laughs> so the basement becomes the sub basement. So I'm telling you that, that there's levels below what they're telling you. Given that this occurred during the Prohibition and the fact that these basements, quote unquote, were relatively obscured from the city above, some of the basements became sites for speakeasies and juke joints. With music and illegal drinking a common occurrence, one of the first mentions of this area is in the opening lines of Betsy's, uh, Bet uh, Bessie Smith's 1920 Preaching the Blues, which documents its importance as an entertainment district. I guess I'll play a little bit of a song here for you. Down in Atlanta, GA, under the viaduct every day, drinking corn and hauling hooray, seeing how the playing tale of break of day. Okay, that should be enough. By the end of the 1920s, the street level had been raised by one and a half stories and by one and a half by the end of the 1920s the street level had been raised by one and a half stories that's interesting very interesting what that tells me is that that um 
um, the, the the first floors were already covered in mud, and that's the half story. <laughs> so they raised it one story, but then they got rid of the half story that was the mud flood level. <laughs> and a five block area was completely covered up. A five block area was completely covered up. I think it's more than that. For the next 40 years, as Atlanta continued to grow at street level, the 12 acre area was effectively abandoned and forgotten. <laughs> wow. In, in the 1960s, the original storefronts were rediscovered and many architectural features from the century earlier had survived intact, including decorative brickwork, granite archways, ornate marble, cast iron pilasters, hand-carved wooden posts, and gas street lamps. Two Georgia Tech graduates, Fuller and Patterson, began to plan a private development there and to restore and reopen the city beneath the city. As a retail and entertainment district, the Underground Atlanta Incorporated was incorporated May 2, 1967 and began acquiring options to lease buildings under Central Ave, Prior White, Hunter, Alabama, and Wall Street Viaducts. Fuller and Patterson purchased all the corporation stock October 1967 and construction began in 1968. A constitutional amendment was passed in Georgia naming the area historic site. Oh, sorry. Uh, let's go here. Uh, the heyday of the underground Atlanta lasted for only a half decade when neighboring DeKalb County relaxed their restrictions on alcohol consumption in the 1970s. New bars sprouted up in the parts of, uh, in other parts of the city, generating competition. The dress code restrictions were dropped, and fights began to break out. The construction of the Marta, that's the subway, East Line began in 1975. Tore out several blocks of clubs and eliminated parking. Crimes crime became uncontrollable, and the area was considered dangerous. In 1980, the underground Atlanta was closed. A few businesses struggled to stay open, but in 1982 they left and the area was once again abandoned. Set dormant for most of 1980, A's vagrants occupied several of the historic buildings, some of which were destroyed by fire. Wow. All right, let's move. I think that's about the just of what I wanted to give you that one. You read it, go read it if you find it interesting. On ground uh, Atlanta, after devastation of Atlanta during the Civil War, the city began to rebuild itself around the railroad tracks that brought goods and people to the city. However, by the 1920s, Atlanta had a growing traffic problem. A series of viaducts was built to bridge the railroad tracks and relieve congestion in the downtown area. The viaducts illustrate a dramatic early 20th century chapter in local transportation and were part of a, a largely unrealized city beautiful plan to fashion the Buick Arc Civic, um, Civic Center above the railroads. Atlanta continued to grow above these viaducts and above the original street level of the city center. The ground floors of these buildings, essentially sealed off by the viaducts, reflect the typical architecture of this period. Those that front Alabama prior Peachtree Street remained the most intact examples. I think there's more. These post bellum business blocks were abandoned for decades but were rediscovered and redeveloped as shopping and entertainment district called Underground Atlanta in the late 1960s and early 1970s. Today, they remain a distinct urban environment. The storefronts along the north side of Alabama Street and the surviving lower portions of the buildings that were demolished to make way for the MARTA Rapid Rail Line most of the storefronts in underground Atlanta date from the er late 19th and early 20th centuries and are generally Victorian in style within, read Tartarian, within the districts is also the zero mile post, which marked the beginning point of the state built railroad line that fostered the development of the city. Okay. Atlanta, Georgia, the underground represents the original surface level of downtown Atlanta. For the present, street, streets are raised roadways, viaducts, built in the 1920s. 
All right. And here is a, uh, this is, uh, let's see, down here, this is some uh, paperwork. This is the best I could find on this. Um, this is from page 61 of the Beeler Organization's proposal to save Atlanta's transit system in 1924. And what this is, is this is the, the, the proposal for building um, the viaducts and um, also something else. Uh, we'll get to that. Um, but you're more than welcome to uh, read this. I'll, I'll, I'll leave it there so you can... You can look through this and uh, read it if you'd like. Okay, I'll read you a few things here that I thought, thought were extra interesting. Um, in order to argue, excuse me, in order to augment the transit facilities, uh, relieve congestion, increase the street and sidewalk capacity, and make the streets safer for pedestrians as proposed, the system of continuous subsurface transit be installed. Two sections are recommended, one on Peachtree Whitehall from Mitchell to Carnegie Way, a distance of uh, 2,960 feet, and the other on Marietta Edgewood Streets between Spring and Ivy, a distance of 2,300 feet. The total length of the system would be 5,260 uh, feet, or measured both ways 10,520 feet. This method of handling local transportation is designed for use in districts where heavy and congested passenger traffic exists. It consists of three continuous parallel platforms directly beneath the sidewalk, operating endless chain, operating endless chain fashion up one side of the street and down the other, looping back at the terminals. The speeds proposed for the first, second, and third platforms are two, four, and six miles per hour respectively there will be a continuous walk 30 inches wide inside the load speed platform so that access may be obtained at any place on the line i'm going to show you what this what they're talking about uh, it will afford the merchants the stores along its route double display space with show windows on both the street above and the moving walk below the basements will become as valuable as sales rooms for sales rooms as the stores are now. <laughs> In fact, it will be unnecessary to enter the more congested parts of the business district with a car thanks to this system of transit and the series of viaducts by which the, the through traffic may pass around instead of through this district. The estimated cost of the proposed street opening and widening projects in the central district the installation of a continuous transit system and the building of the viaducts is as follows so here's some numbers uh 2.5 million 3 million 2 million for viaducts we're talking uh uh 7 million 500 thousand to do this this is in 1924 the cost of building the viaduct should be divided into four equal parts and assessed to the interest affected as follows. One-fourth to each to the steam railroads, the street railway, the property benefited, and the city at large together within the county. Okay, now if you go up here, you'll notice it says uh, a revised plan for the business district, district is shown in exhibit 10a and b okay we're going to look at exhibit 10a and b this is 10a this is what they're proposing they never built this as far as i know but i i, I have to wonder and i seriously would like to know if that actually is there that they weren't proposing to build something but they were trying to create a cover story for something that was already there i don't know maybe this is below maybe this thing is is below the mud or something i don't know this thing is just really weird this is just like the thing you saw 
in at the Paris exhibition, uh, the the World's Fair. Th this thing, this part here, the, okay, this is the viaduct up here. This is the city, the new level city street viaduct. This is mud flood level. These people are down on mud flood level here. There, this is the continuous tra continuous transit system. Continue, continuous transit system showing subsurface moving platforms proposed for Preach Tree, Whitehall, Marietta, and Edgewood Streets. This part right here, you sit on it, goes six miles per hour. This part right here goes four miles per hour. This part right here goes two miles per hour. And they can jack the, the, the rate, they can slow them down, but they can also jack up the rates up to, I believe it was nine miles an hour if they wanted. And it's on both sides. See, this is the other side. What happens is the sucker goes around and around and around. It goes up here, it turns around. It goes down here, it turns around. It goes up here, it turns around. It goes around and around in a circle. Okay. This is what they proposed to put under Atlanta, Georgia. As far as I know, they never did it. It never existed. But, I, you know, this thing, I have seen this in operation. And I have film of this. And I bet you as mud flood researchers, you know the film I'm talking about. You've seen this platform before. You've seen it. So, you know, is it real? I don't know. And this is a picture of the uh, under the, the this is a schematic of of the uh, the workings the under workings of that platform. This is where you would sit. This is the part that goes six miles per hour. This is the part that goes four miles per hour, and this is the part that goes two miles per hour. Okay, and this is the sidewalk. So this is this sidewalk here would be viaduct level. This would be mud flood level, and the original ground level would be down here. Or they call them the pit. This is real stuff. Okay, that was Atlanta Viaducts. Um, I gave you everything I got right now. Um, if you want to do your own research, uh, I suggest uh, start on the outskirts of town and just follow the main roads um, into the city. And as you're getting into the city, you'll see how the road raises and uh, look to the sides on Google Earth and um, as you're going into the cities and you'll, you'll see the viaducts. Now you can do this in, in, in any city and, and see if you have this sort of thing. Um, like I said, uh, Cleveland and Cincinnati uh, are definitely confirmed. Um, I believe uh, Chicago. And uh, possibly New York, but New York's, that's a different bag. New York is a, a, a deep, dark rabbit hole. Um, it's real muddy. A lot of mud. So, um, let me know what you find. Um, I'm interested. Uh, this is continuing research. But I believe this is a proof of cover-up of, of the mud flood. Um, so... I hope you enjoyed, and, uh, well, this big's out. Georgia, Georgia, the whole day through, just that old sweet song keeps Georgia on my mind. Georgia, Georgia, a song for you comes as sweet and clear as moonlight through the pines. Say wolf again! Say wolf again! I've got one that can see. This is my kung fu, and it is strong. See you later!